Screen three. Let's go. Uh, yes, I still have a black beard. And yes, I still have platinum blonde hair. <laughs> Mixed with lots of gray. Anyway, Patrick Kelly, uh, distinguished architect here at Zoom. Uh, I did a couple of videos uh, on one, the installation of Zoom app inside of Teams uh, and, and through the Teams app marketplace and through our um, the Teams uh Teams policies, right? The Teams app policies. But you've also been asking, hey, where's the Zoom phone only app and how do you install that? A couple of different steps and it's available not in the app marketplace. So the app marketplace uh, in the Teams client is bottom left-hand corner of your Teams client. You're going to see a apps store. That app store takes you to third-party apps in the apps marketplace. Uh, these are both Microsoft apps and third-party apps like Zoom, right? So I could type in Zoom. And obviously, I'm going to see a Zoom app. This is generally available. Anybody can do this. I've showed you this a thousand times. What's not generally available is this Zoom phone app. If you haven't seen the Zoom phone app, I have another demo. You can watch it on that one. But it's just Zoom phone only built within Teams. I'm trying to do this video in less than five minutes, so I'm not talking fast. <laughs> Here's how you install the Zoom phone only app. Because it's a custom app. It is not a Microsoft app. It is not a third party app. It is a custom app. So we need to enable some custom app features in the Teams portal in order to do this. I'm going to do, do two things. I'm going to show you the manual way to install it, like an IT person would do in testing this. And I'm going to show you uh, the, the production way to install it so you can push it out to all your users. First way to do it, go to apps. And you're going to um, see a upload a custom app. Upload custom app. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to upload a custom app since the Zoom phone app is a custom app. I'm going to upload it two different places for me and or my teams. Like I want to test it in the IT organization or I want to upload it for my entire org. That's an important distinguishing feature because when we go to do publish it in the policies, we're going to see the difference there, right? So let's just publish it for my entire org. And what it's going to show is I have the Zoom phone app in the zip file here. How do you might get the zip file? Two different ways. You ask the product team for it, or you can probably just ask me for it. <laughs> I can probably just give it to you. All right. So I'm going to upload this Zoom phone zip file inside. This is the JSON code to get this to work, but I'm going to upload this file. And now what's going to happen is app already exists because I have already uploaded it. You can see that because I can show you right here in the Zoom phone over here. If you didn't have that, it would already show you. It would say, hey, added. So now I've added that app to my store. That's great if you want to add this to your individual uh, store, but you also want to add this to your client. So how do we do this from a production level? That's the way you manually do it. And then underneath here, you're going to have Zoom phone app and all that stuff is going to happen, right? So Zoom phone. And I can install that and add it and boom, it adds it to my client. See, now you have it on your client level. So now I have two different apps. I have the Zoom public app right here, and I have the Zoom phone only app. Zoom phone only app just has phone stuff. <laughs> if you didn't see this in my last demo, you also want to do this. Pop out this app, right? Because you don't want all that real estate teams taking over all that real estate. So now you can go to your teams folders and your channels, and you can leave this phone uh, up and you can make outbound calls while you're doing other stuff. All right. Make sense. Great. Perfect. Let's go to, that's the individual way to do it. Manual way to do it. This is not the way you're going to do it in production In production. You're going to do go to your team's admin portal, team's admin portal. You're going to have team apps. So admin portal is admin.teams.microsoft.com. And if you or one of your friends or families or team admins, they'll be able to see this page. You're going to go to the manage app section. Why is that important? Because you're going to have to control org wide app settings. I'm talking fast. I realize that, but you can replay the video anytime you want. Org wide app settings are going to flip a couple of switches, allow third party apps and then allow interaction with custom apps. You could need those turned on in order to upload custom apps. Good. You haven't turned on. Perfect. Great. Let's go. Now I'm going to need to upload that app into my org, I just did it in the previous step, but if they, you, let's take a step back. If you were just doing it for your IT department or your teams, it's not for your org. The global admin, the teams global admin are going to have to upload this for their org. You can do that where I just showed you how to do it, or you can do it right here where it says upload a custom app. You're going to upload the same thing. You don't have to do this twice. I'm just showing you how to do it. It's going to upload this custom app into your individual store. Yes, I know it already exists in your catalog. It says that right here. All right. So use a different name or blah, blah, blah. You get the point. It's uploaded now. So now you can have this app in your store. 
Zoom phone app right here. It's published. Okay, great. So remember, org wide settings, upload the custom app. Second, we're going to go to set up policies. We're going to have different policies by default. You have a global policy. You don't want to change the global policy, but so you know, I'm just, but I'm just show you as an example how to do it in the global policy. Now we have installed apps. Today I just have the Zoom app right here. I need to install the Zoom phone app. Why is that important? Because now it's going to push this app out to everyone that's in my organization. So let's add an app. Let's zoom phone. And boom. So what that does now, it now adds Zoom and Zoom phone to my left nav bar in Teams. This is called left nav bar in Teams. Well, it's on the Teams client. You get the point. All the icons on the left side on the navigation bar, left nav bar. All right. Underneath that is extension, message extensions. If you don't know what message extensions are, let's kind of review that real quick. That's all you really need to do in, in, the, in the Teams admin portal is do it that way. What the, um, what the message extensions are, are this. Underneath here are all these icons in the Teams world. Notice I have two Zoom icons. The reason I have two Zoom icons is because I have two Zoom apps installed. Typically, you would not have to see this in the real world because you wouldn't have both apps installed at the same time. Zoom phone would typically be just by itself or Zoom meetings would typically be by itself. So you can see on the left side, I have the option to do start meetings, schedule meetings, and make a phone call. On the other side where the Zoom phone app is, I don't have this ability. Watch what happens when I click on it. It's actually going to launch zoom phone right from here i can either invite because i'm in a team right here i'm in a channel it's actually asking to make a phone call to that team i also don't want to do that so i would have to invite people to this chat but let's just pretend how i'm going to be using it let's just say i'm talking to Irvin. i'm chatting with Irvin. he's going to have a zoom phone app notice by the way now it's right there. Okay. Notice, by the way, it wasn't there originally. It just installed it, so it's going to come up a little bit. I'm not going to have two different uh, message extensions here. Again, I will have one or the other. I won't have both. When I click on the Zoom phone app, look what happens. It actually goes into Active Directory, pulls down Irvin Sayers' information from Active Directory. So all these tell you are getting pulled down from AD. I can then choose to make a phone call to Irvin. These are fake phone calls, but you, phone numbers, but you get the point. I can now use Zoom uh, phone app to make a call. All right, great. I have no idea if that was five minutes. I, I sure hope it wasn't. Uh, and if it is, I am sorry. If you have questions, uh, chat with me. How about that? All right. I uh, hope that was helpful. Talk to you later.